What is going on everybody and welcome on in to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into how to create your own breakout scanner on Finviz so that you can find stocks with positive momentum that could be setting up for very, very nice breakouts to the upside. We're covering that here in this video. We're going to keep it short, sweet to the point so you guys get in and get out with what you need. We're looking at finviz.com right now. And if you get something out of the video, all we ask is you hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing. That is it. So we're going on finviz.com. There'll be a link in the resources tab down below. Uh, or just type in finviz.com into your browser. And we're going to go to the screener section of the website. So right now we have not filtered this at all, okay? I am gonna start off here by changing the market cap feature right here. And I want to look at stocks that are small caps and above. I don't wanna look at micro cap stocks, stocks that are under $300 million market cap. I wanna look at stocks that are over a $300 million market cap at a minimum. So I'm gonna click on plus small, okay? Now I'm gonna go and describe things a little bit better here so we get a better you know, kind of understanding as to what stocks we're looking at right now. I'm going to go to the relative volume section and I'm going to put a relative volume of over one. Ideally, we want to go for something that is trading more than average volume. So I could even go for over 1.5 or over two, but we'll start with one and we'll see how kind of concise this list is and then we can come back to that and increase that if we need to. I'm not going to mess with the float or shares outstanding just, just yet, because we could be talking about some bigger stocks and we could be talking about maybe some small caps. There could be kind of a wide variety here. If we need to solidify things down more, we can do that. But let's start here. Uh, I could go to different countries. Let's say I want to look at only U.S. stocks. I might just go and just go with U.S. stocks because maybe I feel more confident in, let's say, the U.S. economy, the U.S. markets compared to the world. I don't know. That could change. And ultimately, everyone has their own kind of play and opinion there. But if we see that U.S. stocks have a better correlation to the, you know, the U.S. markets, the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, then if those are generally trending higher, we might feel a little safer with some U.S. stocks. So that's kind of a rationale to that. Also a way to kind of narrow things down a little bit more. So I'm going to start with that. You don't have to necessarily do that, but I'm going to start with that. Current volume. This is where I think it's actually very, very interesting. I personally would want to look at stocks that are trading higher volume. So I don't want to look at stocks that are trading, let's say, under 200,000 shares per day. I'm going to go to over 200K. Now we can see at the bottom of our screen, we start to solidify things down. We have 37 pages, still a lot of stocks to go through, but we're bringing this down uh, one by one. Maybe I'm going to go back to this and go to over 500K volume and see how narrow this list is. Okay, now we're down to 26. Let's do that. So we want stocks that are trading at least 500,000 shares every day. So we know that there's volume, there's liquidity there. If we want to trade these stocks, we shouldn't have a huge, huge issue. Okay, so there's over 500K volume. Now I'm going to go to the fundamental section from right here. Personally, I don't think this is a huge, huge category when you're looking at breakout trades because this could alter some things. Ultimately, we're playing momentum for breakout trades. Obviously, having a good fundamental back to the company is helpful, but sometimes looking at some of these things, you could end up cutting out stocks that maybe there was a really good opportunity. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at sales growth over the past five years, and I want to see something that has a positive sales growth over the past five years. Now we're down to 14 stocks. So we can solidify or narrow things down a little bit with fundamentals, even though the breakout trade is much more of a technical momentum-based kind of trade in nature. So we can kind of narrow things down. You might want to go into certain things like the PE ratio, price to cash, and you can narrow things down further. We can come back to this, but we'll start here and now we'll go deeper into the technicals. And so here's where we can start to at least find these breakout stocks, okay? So I want stocks that are above the 50 period simple moving average. That's positive momentum, okay? price above 50 SMA or SMA 50. That's what I'm going to select. Okay. Now we go from 14 pages. Now we go to six pages. We got 117 stocks. So we're really narrowing this down. Okay. So price above the 50 SMA, there will now be this section 52 week high and low. We're looking for breakouts. Okay. So we want something that is near, near the 52 week high. We could play something that's hitting new highs, but I also want to be there when it breaks for a new high. And so maybe I want to create a watch list of stocks that are up towards their highs that are setting up for breakouts that I want to have on my list and I can watch every single day and I can always refer back to them if they break out. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click on zero to 10% below the high. 
okay? So these are stocks all within striking distance of their all-time highs or their 52-week highs in this case. And now just like that, we have four pages, we have 80 stocks to look at, okay? We could go back and we could look for more here, which we certainly certainly can and will do, but this may be enough. For you, you may have kind of solidified things down to maybe 30 stocks. And from here, you'll start looking through and find the stocks that you wanna trade. So what I can also do is look at this. On the left-hand side, I can start to hover over these stocks and I can see a quick chart view. So you can kind of see how these stocks are setting up and you can kind of see which ones have more momentum than others, at least as of right now. So just like that, we got a nice list. Now, in this case, I wanna have stocks that have some volatility. So I'm gonna to go to the volatility section right here and I'm going to look at this. This is gonna tell us the type of range that this stock could trade in a given week. So if I look at a week to week volatility over a certain percentage point, that's telling me that there's some action here. I might look at things and say, I don't really care about week to week. I wanna look at month to month and I wanna see something that has a range over 5% month to month. So I click on that. Now, just like that, I only have four stocks. So you can see how super quick you can kind of bring things in. Maybe I'm going to go back to that month and I'm going to go to over a 3% month to month. And now I have a bigger list of stocks. So just like that, I kind of can solidify things down and boom, I now have 28 stocks indicated by this little total number right here above our tickers. I have 28 stocks to go through. I like that. I'm going to stick here and boom, just like this, ADBE, Adobe, fits right into my scan. I like this one already because here's why. This stock, clearly, if we can kind of zoom in, I'll show you guys what I mean. If I zoom in and go over to the side, this stock right now is showing that it's getting rejected the past week. It looks like 655, 656. So the breakout, a short-term little breakout could be up over that 656 level on Adobe for a move back up into the potential all-time high range. And we can see that it's really close to all-time highs if momentum keeps up, this has recently dipped. We can be looking at a break back to the upside up over this 655, 656 level for a move back up into the all-time high range. And that could be a great stock trade if you're just playing shares or a great option trade as well. And you can make a ton of money playing these types of setups. So there you guys have it. In a nutshell, that is how to create a breakout scanner for yourself. Now I have all this stuff. What I might wanna do is I might wanna save this as a preset. So I'm gonna go up in here to my preset section and I'm gonna click on save screen, okay? I go to save screen and right here, I'm going to go to breakout watch. And just like that, I have a screener that is set to breakout watch. I can watch stocks that are breaking out that are close to all time highs or close to those recent highs that have pulled back a little bit that could be setting up with positive momentum to the upside. And ultimately all I have to do now is look at the charts draw out my key levels, do my own technical analysis, and go from there. Now, if you guys want more information when it comes to doing your own technical analysis, if you guys jump down below in the video description, there should be a link to my personal channel, Thomas Carvo. That channel, I did a video recently going over a full technical analysis for beginners video, mini course, whatever you wanna call it. Take advantage of that. There's also links and resources down below, a technical analysis training course if you wanna go there. Um, that video would be a great place to start and the course could be a great place to go after that. Take advantage of that stuff. Links and resources down below, Finviz in the video description, as well as Weeble, where you can get a bunch of free stocks when you sign up and deposit any amount on the platform. Take advantage of that, the thumbs up button, consider subscribing, check out our other channels, and we'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.